obviously it's disappointing, uh, disappointing especially for our uh, senior, our two fifth-year seniors that came here that we wanted obviously to try to make the tournament. I thought we had a, you know, we had a terrible start to our season. Uh, we put ourselves in a tremendous hole, and uh, then after that, I thought we played as really as well as we could. Um, and uh, you know, I think it comes down to we have we won just two road games, and we uh, obviously lost three games to teams outside the top 100. I think that overbalanced the fact that we beat three teams in the top 15 and three teams, you know, six teams in the top 50, but um, and finished at 10 and 8 in in a in a, in a good in a great conference. But that's that is what it is, and uh, you know. We just have to get ready and try to play the best that we can in the NIT. Uh, that pretty much covers it. I'll take questions, but that's pretty much where what I'm going to say. Jim, uh, coming into the day, were, were you hoping? No, nope, I didn't think anything. Again? I didn't think anything. I was just going to wait and see what they said. We watched games. Uh, I watched the, you know, the TV games, kids' games. We had two good practices yesterday and today, and uh, you know, that's that's been it. How big of a disappointment? Not whether you made or made or make the field or not, but just not going with this team at the beginning of the season. I know there were high hopes for this team. Well, again, you know, the, as I've said many, many times, whatever you hope, it, it's really not does, is irrelevant. It's, you know, what the team does. And uh, the team, we did not play well early. And, uh, you know, that's what ended up, uh, you know, obviously that's what ended up uh, uh, costing us. Where do you like to see uh, when it comes to committing more consistency? Whereas last year with the quality wins, that where does that consistency? I don't know what they do exactly. I, I really don't. I don't know how what they're what they're doing. We 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 play a good schedule. We go out and play people and try to you know do what do what you can do what you're supposed to do to win you know, to get in. It's not our schedule. It's how many games we didn't win. Yeah. It's the games we lost. It's not that we didn't play people. Well, if we didn't bring them in, we would be we wouldn't be in the NIT. So I, I think that would be a problem. <laughs> when you lose guys late, like we lost Malachi late, there is no freshman you're going to get. We got a guy who's our leading scorer and third team All Conference. Uh, that was a pretty good good get for us to do. And our, John Gillen's been a good point guard. And uh, you know, second in the league, I think, in assists, double figure score, good shooter. Um, I think those two guys helped us get to 18 wins. So it's a different world today. When you lose guys late, you know, you do look and see what you, if you need somebody or need to fill a hole, then I think you are going to be, are going to try to do that in those situations, those circumstances. Well, the, all that is irrelevant. You know, when you get ready to play a game as a competitor, uh, you want to go out and win the, the game. And our players are going to want to win. They're disappointed. Uh, everybody's disappointed. But you have a game whenever that may be. And you want to get ready and you want to go out and play and play well. Everybody's disappointed. That's only what you would expect. Nobody's happy. 